Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I have a coloring book flip through video for you today. This book has been, uh, have had a lot of requests for a flip through of it. The book just came out last week and that is Deborah Muller's The Big Mega Coloring Book, 250 pages to color of hand-drawn original art by Deborah Muller. So this is really exciting because Deborah has never done a big giant coloring book like this before. And what this book holds in it is all the illustrations, well I shouldn't say all, but many of the illustrations that have never been available in any of her books. So they are illustrations that were always um, just in PDF form. Some single pages from her Etsy store, uh, the group freebies that she does every month for us, um, any kind of coloring page that she's created for events, just you know, any random illustration that was only previously available as a PDF is now in this book. So um, some of you might have some of these already printed out. I know I do have several. Um, I don't think I have any that I've colored though. I'm not sure. I kind of was looking through it last night trying to remember if I had any that I've colored and I don't think I do. But um, pretty exciting. So the cover here, this fairy, uh, this was on the um, the fairy bag. So if you guys got her fairy bag, oops, sorry, the dog's under. Can you call him? <laughs> oops, sorry, bumped it. I got a dog pacing around here. Um, <clears throat> if you got the fairy bag, I think it was from last spring or the spring. <laughs> before that Dutch is being crazy um you'll recognize this fairy it's on the tote bag that um she created for us so very very pretty but um 250 pages this is available on Amazon and Etsy and the price is $24.99 so I think $24.99 personally is a more than fair price for 250 pages pages to color um just to compare it to some other books uh the spooky family a collector's edition volume one it has uh 240 pages in it that goes for 39.99 on amazon and like if you get the molly harrison big books those have 100 pages a piece those are 11.99 so you could get two of those uh for 200 pages and it would be 24 dollars so i definitely think this is very fairly priced and that was important to Deborah when she created it. So it is printed on Amazon paper and we're just going to go ahead and get to it. Uh, same thing that's usually in all of her other books asking you to tag her with Deborah Muller art. Uh, you know you can hear Dutch's toenails click click clicking. <laughs> He's pacing around. So we'll just get started and the pages are really random. There is no like theme to them. Um, they're just kind of thrown in and I like that there's something for everybody so you're gonna have all kinds of um, you got stuff for every holiday this was the St. Patrick's Day group freebie there's stuff for Valentine's Day Christmas Halloween Thanksgiving um, and then just regular stuff too so this was one of the um, I think it was a pirate or was it a steampunk event that Monarch did. Every time I say that Monarch had an event, I always think of um, the Godzilla movie and the King Kong <laughs> with that Monarch group. Um, yeah, for anyways. <laughs> but Deborah has um, a book of gnomes that came out from her Zen Doodle publisher, and she's working on another one right now. Uh, so that should be out from Zen Doodle in the near future. I like this one a lot. Some of these I haven't even seen. A lot of them I recognize like as being on the Etsy store, but I don't um, know all of them. I know this is from the Etsy store, this box. 
And it kind of is nice because it shows people that she does have so much um, stuff on her Etsy store that's a little bit different. Like this was is one of the fall pages um, from one of the fall bundles that she has on Etsy. Um, I think this is a really pretty one. And all the pages in here are bordered in some way. Um, not necessarily with just this like straight border, but they all have a border of some kind. I also think it's a really good sample of like everything she has. So it's a really good way if she's new to you, um, you can kind of you know, try out all the different uh, types of illustrations that she does. These remind me of the Posh books that she had out uh, years and years ago. So now you'll notice that this one does repeat. I think there are three pages that repeat. Um, and she said she was going to look into the file that was uploaded to Amazon um, because I know I saw a video of somebody else that has that same three, I think three or four pages. Um, so by the time you purchase this, she might have pulled that and fixed the file. Um, it's not a deal breaker to me to have three, um, yeah, I think it's three pages that repeat. Not a big deal at all. I really like this one. I I think this is very, um, very pretty and very unexpected. People, I think, always think of Deborah's illustrations with like the girls with the big eyes or her Halloween stuff, or even with Christmas. She usually has like fairies or like Christmas fairies or pinup elves, you know, that kind of stuff. But something like this, there's a lot of people that have never seen anything like that come um, from her before. Salesman! <laughs> That's a really pretty one too. Kind of some of these soft grace, great slightly, lightly grayscaled images. I do have a lot of these printed off already. Not all of them. This one I don't have. I don't think. Um, but some of them I have got printed off. But I'm just not um, a good PDF person. Like, I understand that people like the PDFs so that they can print on their own type of paper, which I totally get that. But for number one, the Amazon paper doesn't bother me at all. And number two, I, once I print something out, I just forget about it. I don't even, like, it's like I stick it in a, a folder that I have and then I don't even remember it. I think this is really pretty. I think it'll look really pretty done. Um, yeah, I just kind of forget, you know. So it's nice to have these illustrations in a book form. For people like me who love a book versus a PDF, this this big mega coloring book is like a dream come true. <laughs> so you can see there's a lot of Christmas. I think there's more animals than people knew that she drew. Um, you know, like a lot of times there'll be like a little cutesy squirrel or a rabbit or something like that in um, some of the illustrations, but I, I don't think people realize that she has illustrations on her Etsy that are just of animals. She actually has a coloring book of wolves too. I don't know if uh, you guys were aware of that. That one's been out for a couple of years now. And for everybody who loves the Halloween books, she made an announcement today of her upcoming Halloween titles that uh, are coming soon. I 
think you can look for those to start rolling out uh, probably the end of August <clears throat> or in August sometime. I know this one she did in the group for um, group freebie when the war uh, in Ukraine began. filming by the window and uh, the in our living room and the dogs like this big picture window to be able to look out of so they're not crazy about the fact that I'm blocking their <laughs> their view right now I really like this Frida I think this was on her Etsy store for a dollar um, but I really like that one I have this one printed off but I never I never colored it yet Yeah, I was trying to remember if there were any of these that I had colored because I was going to show them to you if I had already colored them. But I, I when I looked through it, none of them really uh, seemed familiar to me as far as I couldn't recall coloring them. This one's really fun. You guys watch Ozark? Have you ever watched Ozark? This one reminds me of Ruth on, on that. <laughs> Here's some more of these like lightly grayscaled. Um, so she does do grayscale occasionally. I really, really, really like this one a lot. This to me, this is probably one of my favorite ones in the book. I don't know, I know it's not in another book, but if it was to be in a book, I might have been one that she drew for fairy hair and then didn't have enough space uh, for, for it or whatever reason, but I really like that one. It reminds me of the fairy hair. This is what I'm talking about, like with the animals. I have this one printed off. It came in the fall. Etsy pack, but I'm not very good at coloring fur. <laughs> like, I'm, I guess I could probably learn how to color fur. I'm just not, not really good at fur. Thanksgiving, here we've got Halloween. Just so many different, uh, these, um, jack o' lanterns. She has like a pack of pumpkins in the Etsy store that are really funny. I think those are really cute. Very fun for Halloween. For all the dragon fans. That's a nice picture. That's a really, really pretty picture. And I know that like some of these are a lot lighter um, and it's not a printing issue because there are illustrations throughout the book here and there that are darker and lighter and darker and lighter. So I'm not worried that it's a printing issue See, like that one is darker. I think it's supposed to be. Like, look at that one. That's a really nice too. I'm not super in, super into dragons, but that's very nice. I know a lot of people love dragons. I just, for $24.99, this book is amazing to me. And I like that some of the illustrations have a lot of detail, like this one, and then you can be in another mood and you have this, which is very simple. Oh, this one doesn't have a border. I said they all had borders. I guess I was mistaken. Sorry about that, because we, here we have a few that don't have borders. That's really pretty, too. This one was, uh, she did for 
May 4th event, like a Star Wars event. Super cute. I'm going to save that for next year. <laughs> as much as I want to color it, I'm going to save it for next year and color it then in May. I love these cats with the crowns and all that on. I really, really like that even though I don't color fur. This one I love too because I have to give commentary about everything, don't I? This one I love because um, she was looking for ideas for the freebie for the month coming up and she put a poll up or something in the group and asked, uh, I don't know if it was a poll or she just asked people for ideas and I said, how about a witch celebrating the summer solstice? So she did this one uh, of the witch at Stonehenge and I thought that was really really neat. I really really like this one That's a very snow white Christmassy pinupy <laughs> Grayscale dragon a Dragon with Easter eggs interesting. Oh, it's got bunny ears too. How fun. Day of the Dead. More fall pumpkins. That's a nice one. I think I have this one printed off. I know I have that one printed off. This one she did last year on Halloween, I think, um, for the Halloween event that they did, that Monarch Coloring Group did, um, and she did the, that one, and I really, really, really like that one a lot. And I like this one, too, with the plague mask. This one was one of those for that Monarch event also, and it reminds me of, a, um, like, a voodoo priestess or something zombie priestess I don't know it's kind of neat love I love this one with the big bad wolf's head in the basket <laughs> I don't know where this one came from, the birth of Venus. I, I don't know. I've never seen this one before. Some mermaids here. anything. Thor is chewing his bone. Actually, both dogs have their bones. Keep giving them to keep them busy so they wouldn't pester me. <laughs> so Thor's down by my feet chewing on his. I like this one. I think that one's fun. That one's really neat too. I never, I don't think I've seen this one before. A lot of these, too, she draws for um, other groups, coloring groups that she's in. They might be having, like, a contest or, um, you know, like a theme that month, and they'll ask her if she'll provide a, a freebie, and so she does that. Oh, Easter. 
<laughs> she had a set of pigs on the beach, uh, I think, for in her Etsy store. That's funny. Kind of mandala y. Sea turtle. I like this one. I like that a lot. Yeah, some of these are just really fun. It's it's just fun because it's nice to see that they're not, you know, there's more to her. This was a group freebie. I remember that one too. That there's more to her artwork than just the whimsical kind of, um, you know, girls that everybody's used to seeing. motorcycle. I, we live by a stop sign so we get lots of <laughs> people like slowing down and taking off by our house. That's really nice like a tropical parrot. Oh my goodness couldn't that be beautiful. I want to do this one. Dragonfly. One, I think that was probably didn't get taken in the wolf book. I like that one too a lot. Really pretty. And that is the end. And that's got all of her social media uh, information on it. And here's like a sampling of a few of the illustrations that are inside the big mega coloring book. So there you have it, Deborah Muller's The Big Mega Coloring Book, 250 Pages to Color, hand-drawn original art by Deborah Muller. Now, you also might be interested to know, I think that she is having a best of Halloween book that'll be coming out. I don't know how many pages, though. I don't think it's going to be this big. I could be wrong. I don't know. But I know um, it's going to be like a best of Halloween and I think she's also going to do that for like some of the other categories too, like maybe fairies or mermaids or whatever. So, um, yeah, if you're interested though, definitely get it. It is on Amazon for $24.99. I will leave my affiliate link to Amazon where you can purchase this book, uh, in the description section below. I'll also link Deborah's Etsy store and the Facebook group, um, Lots of fun stuff always going on in our Facebook group. Her Facebook group, I am the moderator for it, though. Um, we have a lot of fun um, contests and different things. I just hosted a contest uh, last last month, a halfway to Halloween contest. And so we always have something going on in there. And with Halloween coming up and the books releasing toward the end of summer, there'll always be something fun going on. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I hope you found this video helpful. I know as soon as the book was released, there were a lot of people asking for a flip through. So hopefully um, this was able to help you decide whether or not you want to purchase it. Of course, I'm going to say go for it. I'm an enabler. I'm an enabler, right? Um, I just think that it's got a lot of different book uh, illustrations in it and it's such a nice sampling and also being if you're somebody like me who doesn't like to print out pages um, you always see these freebies in the group or you you know see them on her Etsy store it's a perfect way to get them all together in one spot all right you guys thanks so much for watching I will see you in my next video which I have decided is going to be all of my completed colorings from when I began in 2015 until now. So eight years worth of coloring. I'm going to start a series of that and I believe the first installment I will do will be my Deborah Muller coloring just because I've done so much of it and it's uh, pretty much available in one big 
area I know where everything's at <laughs> so that'll probably be the first installment and then um, there will be other ones to follow after that so look for that one soon all right thank you so much